Hello and welcome to Daily Records. I am Tommy Burton and today we are going to be talking about the album Two Sides of the Moon. This is the one and only uh, solo album by Keith Moon of The Who. Um, most of you know him as the drummer for The Who. It came out in March of 1975. Um, and it uh, hit a whopping number 155 on the Billboard Top 200. Um, funny enough, uh, Keith was the last member of The Who to release a solo album uh, by this time. Ant Whistle had done a Smash Your Head Against the Wall. Uh, Roger Daltrey had released an album. And Pete Townsend had done uh, his Mayor Baba projects. Um, Keith Moon uh, was hanging out in the Beverly Wilshire Hotel with uh, his assistant, uh, Dougal Butler. And uh, came in to play for Harry Nilsson uh, on the Pussycats album, produced by John Lennon. Uh, and was basically wreaking havoc all over L.A., uh, as well-known and well-documented. Uh, and so, Keith Moons was just one of the, the, the guys hanging around at this point. Um, but, uh, he also decided to get with Skip Taylor and record his own solo album. And uh, you would think that this would be an album that would showcase his drumming, but it wasn't. Uh, Keith sang lead vocals on all the tracks. He played drums on only three of the tracks, uh, Crazy Like Fox, The Kids Are All Right, and Move Over Miss L, which was a uh, John Lennon song. Uh, he played percussion on Don't Worry Baby, a uh, Beach Boy song. Uh, but the album also features Ringo uh, Starr, uh, Harry Nilsson, uh, Joe Walsh of the Eagles hanging around, Jim Keltner, Bobby Keys, Klaus Vorman, as always, uh, John Sebastian, Flo and Eddie uh, is on this album, Spencer Davis, Dick Dale, um, and actually, uh, funny enough, Miguel Ferrer is on this album. Um, and you know what? This is sealed. I've never opened this. Uh, so, should I open it? I don't know. I've got it digitally, and it's pretty terrible. So, Keith Moon, Two Sides of the Moon. There you go. What do you think? Open it. Listen to it. Comment down below. Let me know. I don't know. Maybe it should stay exactly where it is. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's TommyBurton75. In the meantime, I'll see you all again tomorrow with another daily record. Sorry, Keith.